morning. Mike here with Bear Trek Adventures back up in the White Mountains in the Franconia Notch State Park area. Um, today up is uh, Cannon Mountain. So we're going to do uh, three or four main attractions on this one. Um, start out on the Lonesome Lake Trail. Right now I'm just um, headed up towards the High Cannon Trail which is on the New Hampshire Terrifying 25 list. We'll continue up the High Cannon Trail to Summit um, Cannon Mountain. Um, and then after that, we'll head over the, um, headed southbound on the Kinsman Ridge Trail. Um, we'll go over the Cannonball section, which Northeast Cannonball is on the New England higher, Highest 100 list. And then from there, continue on uh, Kinsman Ridge. Um, go down by uh, Kinsman Pond. Uh, continue on the Kinsman Pond Trail. And then loop back around the Cascade Brook Trail passing by Lonesome Lake. So just getting moving here this morning. <sighs> Made it to the intersection of the High Cannon Trail and the Dodge Cutoff Trail. The uh, High Cannon Trail, it's about 1.4 miles to the summit of Mount Canning. This Dodge Cutoff Trail, it goes up by Lonesome Lake and can be used as a alternate route to get to the summit of Cannon Mountain if you don't want to go over the ladder section, which is on the High Cannon Trail. Holy cow, look at that view. Branconia Ridge. Starting to get close to the top of Cannon Mountain here. We just went over the uh, first ladder. I think there's more to go. Um, off in the distance is North and South Kinsman. Actually, North Kinsman's kind of hidden by the tree line here, but you can see South Kinsman, Lonesome Lake down there, and the uh, Lonesome Lake hut. Made it to the summit of Cannon Mountain, elevation 4,100 feet. We'll go up to the top here and get a good look of Franconia Ridge and all the way around. Holy cow, it is amazing up here. You can see the cannonball. There's over and up. It's cannonball. The view of Grand County Ridge from here is amazing. All right, made it back down from the tower. Now we're headed 
along uh, Kinsman Ridge here, headed over to the cannonball section. Um, so I completed high cannon, which turned out to be a lot easier than I expected. Um, There's only that one ladder section. I thought there'd be more ladders uh, for it to be on the terrifying 25 list. Um, made it to the summit of Cannon Mountain, and now headed over to towards north northeast Cannonball, which is on the New England 100 highest list. And then from there, continue on over towards the uh, Kinsman Pond area. So onward we go. Oh, fun times down there. Made it to the top of Northeast Cannonball, elevation 3,769 feet, which is, I think this is the last, uh, ranked as the 100th highest peak in, in New England. So it's kind of last on the New England highest 100 list. Um, I'd also say, <laughs> so this uh, Kinsman Ridge Trail coming off the Kinsman Ridge here, um, very similar to the rest of the Kinsman Ridge I've been on. Uh, in that it's pretty tough um, very bouldery um, but I think it's actually easier um, in the ice with spikes than it would be um, if it was wet and muddy out so moving forward um, continuing over the cannonballs section here on the Kinsman Ridge and uh, over to the Kinsman Pond area only about four-ish miles in so far. for the bonus summit on this hike. Uh, North Kinsman, elevation 4,293. I did not plan this when I mapped out my hike today, but it only added an extra mile to the hike. And I think uh, North Kinsman has the best view of uh, Franconia Ridge. Reached the Kinsman Pond shelter and Kinsman Pond, the shelter there behind me and the pond uh, down there. Um, this is probably one of my favorite shelter areas in the White Mountains that I've been to. I just think it's awesome how this place is situated right next to the pond. And this pond looks amazing, all iced over. Last time I was up here was in the summer. Um, be a nice uh, swimming spot. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous in the uh, near winter's time. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Headed down the uh, Kinsman Pond Trail here. Uh, we meet up with the Cascade Brook Trail. And then I'll take the Cascade Brook Trail over to Lonesome Lake area. That's one of the sections of the Appalachian Trail I haven't completed in this area. So that was kind of why I planned out this route to uh, hit up that section of the AT. Uh, so onward we go. I completed that little section on the Cascade Brook Trail. I'm at the Lonesome Lake now. Um, great views of the Cannonball section, Lincoln Lafayette, and off to the left here will be the Lonesome Lake Hut. So I will give you a tour around here. This lake is absolutely beautiful. I love it up here. So, so nice. And then after we'll walk around the, the lake and then head back down towards the truck. 
Uh, about 10 miles in for the day, about two miles or so left to go. Well, I just made it back to the truck. Overall, it was an awesome day. Um, the weather was great. It was probably in like the 40s and 50s, actually a little warm. Um, this morning, went up to Cannon Mountain uh, via the High Cannon Trail, one of the terrifying 25 electos, and then went over the Cannonball section um, over to North Kinsman, um, down to the Kinsman Shelter and Pond area, and then finished up there around Lonesome Lake um now i'm back at the truck so getting ready to head out total miles for today it was a little over 13 it was like 13.07 miles so thanks for following along um appreciate you watching um if you're not a subscriber if you liked it go ahead and subscribe to be notified of all the uh future videos um thanks again